don't know what that sound is in the background, but <laughs> I am uh, profoundly relieved otherwise to tell you that uh, our water is being pumped out. And uh, we have been able to come up a little bit. Uh, I don't really feel like going anywhere right now because the enemy is still nearby. But it uh, looks like we're going to be able to get out of this as long as we stay down and shut up for a while. But uh, it did come at great cost. We did lose Swack fishing his boat, Kuda721, and Matt Jan86. Uh, Bob Petrov looking great, though. <laughs> Fresh as a daisy, the only one on the ship. Uh, everybody else is a little banged up, it looks like. I wonder if there's anybody who's in more serious shape. I did uh, switch the damage control team up. Derek Stevens is normally uh, in the engine room as his telephono, but uh, Caxter and the Kalkalash, I tell ya. What, what is going on with that clicking? I, I don't know. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to do a quick survey with y'all. See how everybody's doing. Everybody seems to be fine otherwise. It is pretty obnoxious, though, how the game still considers these guys the most uh, easily harmed, even when you're underwater. And it's especially ridiculous because they wouldn't be anywhere near the conning tower anyway. Even should that have been hit up. Uh, Bobo der Geier is in terrible shape. Um, David Fanciola, not looking so good, nor is the Necromant Chris. 5678 Southern is in pretty bad shape. Tailmange, oh dear. Don't want to lose him. Gift to YouTube, Tailmange. The Derp 2 and Michael Voss on Death's Door. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that clicking, but anyways. Uh, we seem to be almost out of the woods, and in fact, this is the first time I've been able to increase time compression, so... Uh, it looks like we're alright. Ain't nobody worry about me. Why you gotta give me a fight? Why don't you just let me be? Yeah, looks like we're good. Uh, guess what? We're going home. That's what counts with four crewmen less than we had when we started, but that's war. All right, I'm gonna let these guys get a little bit further away and then we're gonna mosey on home, even though I do believe we have five torpedoes left. Six torpedoes left. I think that it's probably best that we return home, maybe attack, um, maybe we'll attack single targets along the way. But, uh, yeah, it is, it is definitely time to, to vacate the premises. Well, dear viewer, um, something unnatural, dare I say something unholy, has just occurred on our submarine U-44. I just loaded up a save after, uh, after the little incident that we had. And I went to look at the crew screen. And the dead once again draw breath. They survive in horrible unlife aboard U-44. This is, this is very perplexing, somewhat worrisome, kind of exciting, but also problematic from vis-a-vis uh, -vis the nature of this Let's Play, the, the participatory elements of it. Um, I was planning on just simply replacing these guys um, once we got to shore, but uh, you can't replace somebody if if they're still alive I mean I could just simply rename these guys so that's that's iffy I think everybody else is actually uh, I think everybody else is fine health wise yeah everybody's health is okay now <laughs> which doesn't make sense but uh, people are still fatigued of course uh, a little bit more fatigued than they should be in fact I don't know what's going on with that I'm not gonna worry about that um, but it does bring up an interesting kind of uh, consideration because really when you think about it it was pretty unfair that these guys bore the brunt of the attack anyways they're quote-unquote topside crew but we were underwater at the time of the attack so it doesn't really make sense that they they mostly were the ones that got killed and well entirely the ones that got killed and took most of the the harm from the attack uh, 
So, I was thinking, actually, of still admitting that four people were killed, but divvying it up a little bit, shall we say? Uh, particularly amongst these gentlemen, because the attack, uh, the, the depth charge damaged these two uh, compartments primarily, so it would make more sense that uh, four of you would be killed. Or, you know, I'm also thinking maybe three of them and one of somebody else? I don't know. This is a lot of power to, to wield in your hands. <laughs> Frankly, it's making me a little bit uncomfortable, but I do think that it's a little bit more legitimate to not just give it all to them, because, again, that, that's that's due to an issue with the game. It's not really... It's, it's not fair. It's just not fair, you guys. But uh, in the meantime, um, all four of the previously dead crewmen are alive. The game has said unto them, Wise from your grave. And they are <laughs> back amongst us. That was a really cool reference that I did. Really, really cool guy over here. So, I'll think about it as we make our way home, but I guess either way, whatever way I go, uh, four of you are going to die. So that's fun. Something to look forward to once we get back to port. Anywho, we're just going to keep trundling along as my crew continues to yell at me. And they are right to do so. If we encounter single contacts, I will hunt them. Well, this guy kind of came out of fucking nowhere. Uh, but that's fine. We'll take it. Uh, I should show you guys where we are. We are off the coast of the Shetlands. We've made quite a bit of progress since I last uh, spoke with you, but uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of contact, obviously, until now. So, we have this guy ahead of us, and the seas are terrible, so this is going to be a little bit interesting. And it's going to be also very interesting trying to identify him. God damn it. It's interesting because I... Sh oh wait, no, I shouldn't be going faster than this if the seas are rough, so... I also didn't get a pop-up about this guy. Not that I necessarily should, but... I'm gonna try to attack this thing, though, regardless. So, uh, I'm heading south, and he's heading kind of west-southwest. And we're on a collision course! So I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Maybe not that much, but... trick to keep my uh, reticle and my binoculars and everything locked onto this guy. Oh boy. Well, maybe I should start by trying to identify him as we close in on him. Good lord. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So we've got a mast. King, uh, M, K, F, M, K? Is that a thing? I know that uh, MKFM is a thing. You know what? Let's start the timer, and if I can't do this quickly, I will let my crew do it. Oh boy. There's no king post in the front, right? Yeah. Settled. Nope, nope, none of you, none of you, none of you, not you, not you. Nope, 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 nope. It's MKF, not MF. Is that what I thought it was? KFKM. It could be, but it's got a different front like that, and then K. K? Oh, golly. Well, I've exceeded my minute. Just need to get one more quick <laughs> look at him. The game will allow me that one small luxury. I think that this is actually in here. I'm going to say it's an MKFMC. And we will see if that is accurate. Get 
to the right thing, though. Oh, crushed it! The good, good captain. I am wondering how I'm going to speed this guy out. <laughs> this is going to be awesome! Uh, let's speed up and get a little closer. <laughs> Blah! Not exactly smooth sailing right there. Okay, so the issue is that I'm going to get a little bit too close to him, probably. I'm also hearing wind. Let's see if that's actually part of the official weather report. Yeah, that's a good bit of wind. Okay, uh, so we need... I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> we do need to turn, is what I think I was getting at. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, God. Okay, so let's turn. That'll be a right turn, which I don't want. I want to do this. Right? Uh, did that not happen? No, wait. I want that. I want that turn. I do want a right turn. A right turn is not only right, it is correct. Okay, so now, let's slow down because I'm going away from him at this point, but... I also need to close a little bit, maybe. It's fine. I'm gonna back up a bit. That's not a bad angle. Uh, I'm gonna actually start with a range on him, which I don't normally do. The reason is that I think I want to get closer and I want to see how practical this whole thing is, and ranging him is gonna be a little bit easier. Just down. I think that that's it. That is about 3.75. So, how tall is that? 27. Uh, oh, yeah. 3.75 gets lined up there. So, that's 3.8, and then, yeah, there we go. And then I look for his height 27, 7. 2.9 we'll put that in for now but yeah we're gonna have to speed him out so this is gonna change uh, oh and if I'm speeding him out I need to be sailing at zero knots stop stop there we go We'll wait until it reads one knot, or zero knots, rather. It was reading one there, but... This is going to be fun right here. I don't know how effective this is going to be, but... Oh, my God. Plus, if I can't see him, how am I going to know when he passes? Oh, boy. I'm going to try to keep him in view, at least. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is... a bit of a disaster. Well, he is moving very slowly. I was a bit worried about this count that we're getting, but... just suddenly will bolt ahead because of the way that the waves are pitching and rolling. I'm just gonna say 55 and move on with my life. <laughs> I have very little faith in this now that we're doing this. Okay, so I line up the time with the length on the outer middle ring, right? There's one 
30. That puts him at a blazing four knots. Which I'm going to bump up to five. Okay. And AOB wise, I'm actually slightly behind him. And then I'm going to rearrange him. Can I do the little nudge? Yeah, I can do the control arrow. That is very nice. And part of the difficulty here is that he's kind of pitching in the water too, but he's four degrees now, so I line up about four, and then I look for the height, which was 27, and so he's at 2.6. I don't remember if that's higher or lower. <laughs> Let's look at that again. 27, 2.6. I'll put 2.3 and some change. I don't know. You know what? Let's let's try that again, because I don't think I got a good reading off of him. Nope, it's 4. And 4 gets put there in 27. 2.7, okay. That's higher. Wait, what am I fucking doing? Yeah, I'm reading this all wrong. I keep doing that. Okay. I think that this is about as good as it's gonna get. I'm just not, I'm not feeling very confident, so I'm second guessing myself and making mistakes and all that jazz, so. It happens. to the best and the worst captains. Let's bring that up a touch. Because with that pitch and roll kind of stuff happening, there's a good chance that we could end up missing. And magnetics are just a losing proposition. It's kind of weather. I'm only going to shoot the one torpedo because this is fucking insane. Alright, well... There it goes. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. I don't think I will take a second shot, even if this one misses. I don't know if I can even use the deck gun, because of the... how rough these waves are. I think we're gonna be a bit slow. Yep. It's gonna go behind him. See it right there. So I ranged him wrong, I think is probably what happened there. Should I try it again? Because that wasn't that bad of a shot. <laughs> All things considered. It was a miss, obviously, but... I got it. I know I missed. The speed could have also been terribly wrong too just because of how much my periscope was moving laterally. Is it a good idea to take another shot? Well, we've got enough to spare. Why not? What am I doing? So now we're at three and a third maybe? like that. 27. And I'm actually going to increase the speed. Well, I guess that's kind of unfair because I was able to see the results of my torpedo missing. But war isn't fair. <laughs> that's a shitty excuse. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's try tube number six. I think I'll let her rip. A lot of noise out of that torpedo. And did I lock that in? I think I did. Let's find out.
already lost it. <laughs> oh wait, there it is, okay. Oh, for Christ's sakes, okay. Clearly Neptune does not want me to sink this ship. Alright. You know what? Now it's personal. I'm turning the wrong way! <laughs> well... That's not what I really wanted to do, but... Torpedo hat Ziel verfehlt, Herr Palloy! Neuer Kurs 2, 2, 0! Now we're just gonna go for it. I don't know what it is at this point, but we're going. <laughs> we sure are moving fast. <laughs> we're going for it in the uh, Keanu Reeves uh, Celebrity Jeopardy sense. Tonight. Okay. Impact. Did I not set that as an impact pistol? I'm wondering if that's what happened there. I don't know. Seas are pretty rough, so it could be that. Kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't, as far as the pistol choice here. And I'm trying to see if he's zigzagging, but this is just like a bad acid trip or something that I'm seeing here. So yeah, we're not in any kind of position to actually attack. <laughs> uh, let's actually head west. And I said head west. We'll just try to sink him somehow. Somehow, some way. And he is zigzagging now, I think. Smart move. Is he? Oh, I don't think so. I, I'm wrong about that, too. It could have been... Um, you'll notice that... It's actually pretty subtle. Never mind. I, it, sometimes this will bob up and down. This circle here. Because of the way that the waves are moving us. God. Awful seas. Neuer Kurs 1, 5, 4. Okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm just a little bit rummy from how this whole patrol has gone. It's been a, it's been kind of an emotional roller coaster, really. I mean, we sank one of the largest ships in the game, and then four of our crew died. So, by the way, he's Norwegian. Did I mention that? I'm shooting him anyways. I don't think we're technically at war yet because it's January 28th. Yeah, that's that's. Probably not acceptable, but I'm really a big fan of acceptability here. Clearly, but the sky's pretty though. <laughs> that counts for something, right? Okay, so that's six and Two tenths, we'll say. Which is about like that. Twenty-seven. Seventeen. Almost uh, eighteen. Perfect. Okay. Impacts. Okay, I think that this is about... And if if I miss this time, we're packing it in. That's just... This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> that should just about be a straight shot. It's gonna, yeah, gotta go to the left a little bit, but...
Oh my god, is it gonna run astern? Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, it is gonna run slightly astern, but that is gonna hit, hopefully. Yay! Well, I feel much better. I don't know about you, but... Do you? I don't know. I, I kind of feel embarrassed that that was such a laborious effort there to land a hit that doesn't seem to have done too much to this thing. But, uh, you know... I'm not perfect. So that's what this whole episode is a reminder of. In fact, far from it. And in fact, in other facts, while we're talking about facts, this guy is just not really phased by all of this. I suppose I could try to put some crew on the deck gun. I could use some of my uh, already dead crewmen. See what happens with that. You get a last hurrah. It's a zombie deck gun. All right. I like the sound of that. Walking corpse, ironically, will be among them. Uh, and then Sarkron, sure, why not? I don't know for sure that I can even do this. Also, I am pushing none of the right buttons. That was a hit. So yeah, we are able to attack even in these seas. Good deal. I'd like to take out his engine, because he's running away from me. Short, okay. Oh, I'm moving backwards. <laughs> what a clod, okay. <laughs> and I've been, <laughs> for my crimes, I've been sent back to the command room. Fair enough. Um, I'll go ahead and have my crew. Uh... Ah, beans. Yeah, the sea is now too rough. Well, now they're doing it. I like your, uh, your flannel there, sir. Interesting pattern. Pardon me while I spear it over here. Is that a hound's tooth check? I do believe it is. Wow. And we're missing. <laughs> Come on, guys. By the machine goes of These conditions are just the worst. Just terrible. It looks like he might be taking on water, but I don't know if... No, it's because of the, how terrible the seas are, so... And... Yeah, my crew is not happy with me. <laughs> They're just not even bothering. keeps happening. It keeps sending me back down to the command room because of the waves. I don't really know how much effort I should Oh. Apparently our deck gun was damaged. I don't know if that was... That could have been just from previously. But, um... It's good. I can't, I cannot tell what we're hitting, because every time we land a hit, the bow of my ship pops up into view, so. <laughs> See, there it goes again. <laughs> and I'm a little worried that I'm actually going to hit it, but. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting waterline hits to the stern, which would uh, usually mean that I'll be taking the rudder and the propeller out. I don't know how um, certain I can be that that's actually happening, but <sighs> this is going to go on for a while, I think. So I tell you what, just speed things up. Yeah, 
See, it keeps fading in and out there, so I don't think that they're necessarily going to be able to maintain their attack. <laughs> Yikes. These are really bad conditions, although he does appear to be sinking. Yeah, he's Dex a wash back there, so I might have actually scored an. I, I might have just damaged the hull, actually, more than just taking out their engines and making it easier for, for us to hit them. Speed things. Oh, hi! <laughs> well, there we are! There's one way to do it, I guess, right? <laughs> I mean, he is basically immobilized at this point, so maybe my attacks were effective. Yeah, this was all. This is all part of the plan, folks. Kleine Fahrt zurück. Yeah, I'm a genius. What are you carrying there? It's like boxes of cereal. I'm gonna shoot it. Gotta get my kicks somehow. I bet this guy wishes that he had a lucky charm. Oh, come on. To keep submarines away. Less America. Beide Maschinen kleine Fahrt. 50 und Drehung. Think of more, uh, more hilarious serial jokes. Never thought I'd ever say that in my life. <laughs> God. Oh, he is sinking. Okay. Uh, am I gonna get credit for that because I didn't get a pop up? I am not. <laughs> oh wait, there we go. Okay, it did say enemy unit destroyed. Yes, we did get credit for that. Okay. And I, I sped through the sinking of that. I apologize, but I was totally amused with the idea that I spent all this fucking effort to sink the thing and I wasn't going to get any credit for it. But we did get credit. We got, we got points and such. Christ almighty. I think I'm just gonna head home. I think that this patrol has been a long ordeal for all of us, and I think it's time that we ended it. Oh, boy. These Type 9s, I tell you, they're such an exercise in endurance. Uh, we've been at sea for a long time. It's January the 28th, guys. I mean, we've been out there for a while. The Type 9, uh, Obviously, it was designed for long patrols, so I kind of should have known what I was getting into. Um, they would take multi-month patrols, oftentimes, but that translates um, to a lot of time too, in terms of real time. And uh, frankly, I stink right now. <laughs> frankly, it's time to end this patrol. I think. Time to take a fucking shower. It's not like I do these all in one sitting, but uh, my god. You do have to devote quite a bit of time to to do these. I'm just saying. You should be very thankful. Doing you all a humongous favor. Etc, etc. Alright, now I'm starting to act like kind of a dick, so it is definitely time for me to get out of here. Let's let's head home. Good god. Hello, Willemshaven. Your hero has returned. Captain Gerd von Kegel has uh, returned from a triumphant patrol. A few little blemishes here and there, but um, overall, you know, we sank the hood. I mean, come on, what more can you ask for? I know that that's cold comfort for the four crewmen that died, but, uh, you know, I have to say, I think it went rather well otherwise. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to steer this thing into into its moorage. 
I know that uh, I don't have to do this. But uh, I also kind of do. I don't know which one I'm really aiming for here. I think this one is just going <laughs> to be the one by default because uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it into any of the other ones. Although this one is a little bit more realistic at this point. That's what I intended to do all along. Alright, so... Just keep on leveling off. There you go. <laughs> and slow it down. Slow it down. By the machine, kleine Fahrt. 50 und Drehung. Max slow. Come on. Don't run into the dock. <laughs> Please don't. You, you gotta park it backwards too. It's bad luck to do it uh, forwards, I think, isn't it? Well, that's 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 a rule that I have come up with. That is the wrong way. Oh, look at that. And that is the wrong place for us to dock. But it doesn't matter. Because again, just a wildly successful patrol. I mean, it's it's I'm a very emotional soft-hearted person and to lose four crewmen is a terrible terrible thing so that is certainly casting a Paul and maybe a John and a George and even a Ringo over this whole uh, affair but uh, you can't really argue with results speaking of results let's stop moving here in a moment by the machine kind of out 50 and real Almost there. Almost there. Oh, baby. Well, that's close enough. So let's see those results. Oh, wait. I have to do this. That's right. End patrol. I want a dock. Wow. 116,189 tons. We failed this mission, but uh, I had my reasons. And uh, we didn't use three of our torpedoes. A little blemish, too, in addition to the death of our four crewmen. But uh, not too shabby. Let's see what Command has to say to us. Have another Iron Cross with <laughs> swords, diamonds, and oak leaves. <sighs> Just ridiculous. You, how, you can't... I'm not an expert, but you can't get this twice, really. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna think about that too much. Thinking, as we've demonstrated, is not exactly my strong suit. So, we've returned home. Less for crewmen. Uh, I have decided that I will be removing three random crewmen from the uh, from the stern torpedo room and the propulsion room, and then one lucky crewman from. <laughs> <laughs> from the remaining uh, portions of the ship. Uh, I feel like that's more fair. Uh, if it's if I'm going to be dealing death, I, I want it to be in a very uh, equitable way. So there you are. I, I like to think that that's how I deal death out on the seas, too. I'm, I'm very um, conscientious about who I kill. I'm very methodical. <laughs> These are the words of a serial killer. Oh, wait, I can hear a siren outside of my house. I better go. This has been a Fing Controller playing... Silent Hunter 4, Operation Monsoon. I'll see you in the next patrol. And if you do, oh, by the way, if you have suggestions, feel free to leave them uh, using the link for um, suggesting different patrol objectives. Uh, if you do want to sign up, we have some recent vacancies. Uh, so use that link as well. See you later.